Hey, squints. This is water. Magic water. Magic glowing water that is safe to drink. Despite tasting a bit awful. So what science can we do with it? What of it? So what's so special about this magic glowing water? It's called tonic water, which is water with carbonation, which is why it's bubbly like soda, and quinine, which is a bitter tasting molecule. Ew. Sometimes other stuff is added in to make it taste better, like sugar or other additives, but the main difference is the bubbles and its bitter taste. Ew. Comparing carbonated drinks to tonic water, it's easy to see the carbonation doesn't make it glow. It's the bitter quinine that's the glowing culprit. Quinine is listed in BitterDB, which is like an online database of all things bitter, as one of the most bitter natural compounds that we know of. And yet, due to genetics, only some people are able to taste it. Like, for example, to me, it just tastes like really weird carbonated water, but apparently my daughter thinks differently. Hmm, that's interesting. What does it taste like? Broccoli. A quick safety note on quinine, Drinking moderate amounts of it should be fine for most people. Only small amounts are dissolved in tonic water to begin with. But it's a good idea to only drink a sip at a time when first trying it to make sure your body is A-OK -okay with it. But beyond quinine's bitter taste, it's a special molecule called a phosphor. We talked about this in a previous video years ago, but essentially electrons in quinine absorb invisible UV light and then fluoresce or glow a different color of light. For quinine, it's blue, specifically 450 nanometer wavelength. Even if you add food coloring to it, it will still continue to glow that specific blue color. To see the electron's contribution in quinine's glow, you can add oxidizing agents like bleach or oxyclean, and an adult should help with either of those. Oxidizing agents are molecules that rip electrons away from other molecules and disrupts the distribution of electrons. If quinine needs those bonding electrons to absorb energy and glow, disrupting that should make the glowing stop. And it does. But please don't drink that tonic water mixed with bleach or oxyclean, that's a terrible idea. For a brighter glow, you can boil some of the water out, leaving a higher concentration of quinine and whatever water was left, making it glow brighter. This is cool and all, but are there other foods that glow? Yeah. And is it possible to have an edible glowing dinner under a black light, which I'm sure you've always wondered? Yes, yes, yes. Well, yes. I'm glad you asked. It's also the title of this video. And vitamin B2, also called riboflavin, glows a really bright yellow and can be mixed into other foods to make them glow. Here's some riboflavorful jello. Jiggle, jiggle. How about a nice salad? The squash has been soaked in a vitamin B2 drink to make it glow yellow. No, that's not cheating. It's called using my resources. Leafy greens have chlorophyll that will glow red. It's a bit hard to see it here on camera, but here is blended, filtered, and diluted spinach to better demonstrate that red glow. We can also serve riboflavin or tonic water as a base for drinks. Add whatever flavoring you want to it. Riboflavin flavor is easily masked by other flavors and tonic water helps make nice fizzy drinks. And then white things will reflect lots of light. So white rice and chips will look like they're glowing by reflecting the visible light coming out of the black light. Again, not cheating. It's just not technically fluorescing. That's not all that's important here. If it fits in your recipe, olive oil glows a really nice pinkish red color. Canola oil glows bright blue and honey glows a faint blue green. So the science is ready, the food is ready, now it's time for your feast. I'm calling it now, folks. Someday, Squint Science will open the world's first glowing restaurant. Or if that already exists, we'll open the world's next glowing restaurant. Just give me some time to figure out how to cook. Glowing appetit. Keep glowing, keep asking questions, and keep on squinting. The glowing goggles of Green Gadzookery has requested your subscription to this channel. And also watch more Squint Science videos, much more, many much more.